300 billion euros of investments. That was the big promise made by Jean-Claude Juncker in his campaign that later made him become the president in this house, the European Commission. Now this week, it was time for him to deliver on that promise. Today, we are adding the third point of a virtuous circle, an ambitious yet realistic investment plan for Europe. Standing before the European Parliament in Strasbourg, Juncker explained the basic points of the investment plan, which is to use a small amount of public EU money as guarantee in order to attract a much higher level of investments coming from the private sector. The Commission will give a guarantee of 16 billion euros. The European Investment Bank, EIB, will put in another five. With this money, 21 billion euros in total, they will create a new fund called the European Fund for Strategic Investments. This fund is then expected to be pumped up by private investors, with so-called leverage or a multiplier of 15. With such financial engineering, 21 billion euros will become real investments worth 315 billion over the coming three years. Targets for these investments will be sectors in which the Commission sees high growth potential, such as infrastructure, broadband, renewable energy, research and education. The plan is supposed to boost economic growth, and the Commission thinks it can create 1 million jobs and add some 400 billion euros to the EU GDP. The investment plan was welcomed by many in the European Parliament, but far from everyone is convinced that the scheme will actually work. The left group in the Parliament called the plan nothing but empty words, as it does not bring any fresh public EU money to be invested. Commission Vice President Jyrki Katainen didn't agree. This is not about complex financial instruments for their own sake, but about making investment happen. To those who claim that this is not real money, my reply is nonsense. However, not only Juncker's political opponents are skeptical, also financial experts have doubts. Korn Deleuze, economist at KBC Bank, thinks the Commission is expecting too much from the private sector, with the leverage as high as 15. I think it's optimistic. If we look to the project bonds that were launched in 2012, we see that they had a leverage of 5 to 7. And you have to take into account that with these projects, these projects were much less risky than the projects that are uh, envisaged now. There are projects that are uh, going to be launched in, south, in southern Europe. So I think it's a little bit to the optimistic side. Kondelos thinks the Commission investment plan will not create much new investments. But even so, he likes the plan, as it could kickstart investments that are are in the pipeline, which is also important in order to boost growth. Chin Chidi, economic policy expert at the Centre for European Studies, is more pessimistic. As Kuhn de Leus, she believes the Commission relies too much on private investors, but she also thinks the Commission overestimates the positive effect on the European economy. I think it's uh, really uh, over-optimistic. Uh, if we talk about uh, 400 billion euros, we're talking about uh, maybe more than 4% of, uh, of the GDP of the euro area. And uh, I mean, what we have now is basically zero growth. So uh, we, uh, the assumption here is that, that there will be a very large impact on, uh, on the economy. And this, I think, it's, it's really not fully realistic. In the Commission they say that there are indeed a lot of projects in Europe ready to start. There is a demand for investment and the investment plan is realistic. If they are right, it's too early to say. The EU Fund for Strategic Investment will be up and running next summer in 2015. And only then will we start to see if Jean-Claude Juncker actually delivered what he promised.